Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We have arrived to what might be the most beautiful and epic place that our RV has ever taken us to. This is Zion National Park. If you caught our last video, we actually parked our RV right on the Vegas Strip and camped there overnight. We ate tons of food, gambled a bit, it was an absolute blast, but we've kind of had our fill of big cities. Yep. So we are changing up the vibe 100%. So we hopped back in our RV and we headed about two hours northeast of Vegas to what might be one of the most beautiful places in the entire USA. This park is huge. It spans 229 square miles and has endless hikes through deep canyons and under beautiful archways. But what makes it really special is that this lush green landscape is just surrounded by all this incredible jagged desert land. And while Utah is known for its amazing national parks, it is also known for something equally as amazing. Delicious, delicious pie. Really random, right? Today's video is actually sponsored by Headspace. They've teamed up with the National Park Foundation so you can use their app to connect with this incredible nature no matter where you are. Believe it or not, one of the top ways to experience Zion National Park is by driving it. There are all these amazing, incredible drives that take you all throughout the park. You can stop along little trailheads and viewpoints along the way. The one that we're doing right now is the Mount Carmel Highway, and this is like the best introductory one because it takes you through all these incredible valleys, these deep red rocks everywhere. It's really just been like completely blowing us away at every turn that we make. It is only our first drive in the park, but I think it's the best. <laughs> I'm gonna say right now, it's the best. I mean, can it get better? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't if know. It, if the park gets better than this, then I, my brain might fall out of my ears. Sadly, because it is so popular to drive, traffic can get pretty wild. In fact, this morning, it was five miles for us to get from our campsite into the park, and it was estimating a 30 minute delay. Luckily, it only really took us about 15, 20 minutes yeah. to get in, but I imagine on weekends and holidays, it could be pretty wild. While there is a lot of traffic through the park, there's actually a ton of roads as well. So the traffic kind of like comes in waves. So you can get stretches where there's no one else on the road. You can pull over, have the pull out all to yourself. You can get a ton of pictures. All right, now buzz off. We got to take in some of this incredible scenery, man. <laughs> this is mind blowing. We officially have our first animal sighting. I don't know if they're baby bighorn sheep or if they're just something else all, in, all together. They're super adorable and you can tell that they don't care about the cars, they don't care about the people, they're just minding their own business. P.S. This is some of the most beautiful scenery we've seen so far because they have this like slightly bluish green water running through this like epic desert landscape. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like Mars meets prehistoric earth. I just realized I'm standing on an ant pile. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my god, look at Woo! those ants. Woohoo! Are they on me? I don't think so. I'm glad I'm wearing boots though. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh no. That scared him. <laughs> Hey, you were right. That was a desert bighorn sheep. Although I feel like they need to rename it little horn sheep. They were so tiny. So this is the start of the Canyon Overlook Trail. And I think this is like a good intro to the park. It's only a one mile trail. I'm out of breath because it's very steep, even in the beginning, <laughs> but it should weave its way through this canyon and then ultimately end at some really epic viewpoint. You know, I was thinking this is actually a great place to do one of the uh, mindfulness exercises from Headspace. This one's perfect. It's actually for when you're walking in nature to help you kind of be more present and to take it all in. By just noticing what you can see, perhaps noticing things that you hadn't noticed before, and then just moving senses, starting to notice the things you can hear as well. So this is why we started with this hike. At the end of it, you are rewarded with one of the most incredible views in all of Zion. This is the Canyon Overlook. Down at the very bottom is Pine Creek, and it is this wild green color, unlike any other water I think we've ever seen. I think they would refer to it as emerald. It's a very otherworldly landscape with all the red rocks, and then at the very tip you have all these white kind of rocks. There's a little bit of snow off in the distance still, and then at the bottom it gets more and more lush until you get to this really strangely, almost alien blood looking green water. <laughs> is that a weird way to describe it? Alien blood? Alien blood. <laughs> Seems appropriate. <laughs> but man, there are no guardrails here. You can get right up close and personal with the edge. And I have kind of stumbled a couple times because the wind will pick up, you know? So be careful. <laughs> it's kind of like, maybe you want to just like crawl out to the edge. Yeah. Oh, terrifying. Oh my God. Oh man. 
That gives you an intense, innate fear that's just deep within every human, I think. <laughs> Quite strong enough. <laughs> Need to work on a little bit. Maybe a few more push ups or yeah. pull ups. A few more million bazillion push ups. <laughs> How did this actually get here though? Look at it. It looks like it was just conveniently placed here for our amusement. <laughs> All right, this is getting pathetic now, dude. Y'all, we're back at the RV for the day, and we're making some pizza! It's gluten-free though, so it's healthy. And we hiked, You right? say that so, like all the time. <laughs> all Zion is freaking incredible. I think we've said it a thousand times, but I think it might be our new favorite national yeah, park. It's really been blowing us away. Yeah, and we're going back tomorrow, don't worry. It was just like a tippy-toe into the majesty of the park. All right, now quit talking and cook me a freaking <laughs> More pizza. More pizza! So if y'all uh, watched the RV renovation, you know that we had a lot of ups and downs during that whole process and it just ended up being so much more stressful than we ever anticipated it being. We also shared with y'all in a recent video that we had some pretty difficult things going on in our personal lives and Headspace has had some great meditations and exercises that have been helping us through it. In addition to having those exercises that are there to help you with grief, they also have ones to help you manage stress, some to help you focus on just being more mindful and present, and some to just help you sleep. For example, if you're not gonna be able to make it to Zion anytime soon, you can check out the Zion Sleepcast and be transported here, and you don't even have to leave your bed. I've actually personally tried meditation on and off over the years, and I always found that it was really hard to get through it without any sort of guidance, and that is why I love using Headspace. And we love that they've created the National Park Collection, so no matter where you are, you can experience the mental vibes of national parks like Joshua Tree, Acadia, and of course, Zion. Headspace's free trial is normally seven days, but they're offering a 60-day free trial for our viewers, so you can sign up and try out Headspace for free by clicking the link in the description or the one on the screen. You guys, the pizza's done! Chilling in a national park in our home, eating pizza. Does it get much better than that? It does not. Those are two of my absolutely favorite things. Pizza and national parks? Yeah. And <laughs> throw not? you in there? Ah, oh, perfection. Then you got your perfect night. <laughs> Whatever, let's eat. Well, good morning, y'all. Hey there. <laughs> so if, if you guys have been following along, you know we've been traveling with Trevor and Anna from the Delightful Travelers, and they are going to brave Zion with us once again today. But the only vehicle we have is little Ruby Suzuki, so we're going to squish four human adults into this little car. Along with all their things, so we'll I think see if this works. <laughs> Trevor might win as the tallest person ever to get inside of here. Hop on in, y'all. All right. I'm not even that tall. Does it go more? Nope. That's it. <laughs> Okay. Get on in there now. Okay. Shove on in there. <laughs> All right. That's not so bad. Now you will hit your head at some point, so sorry in advance. Trevor's been hitting his head in the van. I hit my head so, so many he's, times. I know. He's already got lots of Maybe we should give yeah. you a helmet to wear in here. <laughs> How's it feel back there? Yeah, I like it. You look yeah, a little actually, scrunched in. I mean, I can, I can lay back. Good yeah. for me. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's the VIP treatment. Oh, I back enough. If we move the seat too much, it knocks the transfer case into neutral so that it won't drive. <laughs> Just like little minor details. Everything gets in the way of everything in this car. This is not going to be a smooth ride, so just forewarning y'all. All right. Watch your head. Uh, grab um, onto the roll bar. Should we flip over? <laughs> if you've seen Ace Ventura uh, when he was joking about a bumpy ride, this is the real actual bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah. We are in gear, baby. Woohoo! Time to tear up Zion. Let the endless adventure begin. <laughs> Don't stall, don't stall. <laughs> <laughs> I never stall. <laughs> Is that your Instagram, Instagram. post? <laughs> And then when people do, they stick out their tongue. I don't know why. How do you do it to We made it to our first waterfall and it is flowing pretty steadily, even though I don't think it's rained recently, but from what we hear, the uh, snow is all melting on the top of the mountains. And so I think there's a pretty steady flow. I don't think you always get that. So yeah, I'm very happy about it. 
Unfortunately, no swimming in it. Although I'd love to be right there, right now. It looks very <laughs> refreshing. We just noticed there's a bunch of water just like cascading over this rock. Oh, it's soft too, like like inside a cave. Ooh, like algae. Yeah. So I guess it kind of seeps out from the inside, and that causes a lot of erosion too. It's not just from it hitting the rocks, right? No, it also makes this stuff break away, which hopefully is not going to happen today. We have come even further into Zion National Park to do the hike to the Emerald Pool. So there are three different layers the lower, middle, and upper pools. And as you can see behind me, just magical. Always magical. Zion is not disappointing anywhere. This is like the 20th time we've had to stop and just admire the view. <laughs> it's crazy now because it's you have like the spruce trees mixed in. And then we're standing in sand. I don't know if yeah, you guys can It's even... like a sandy beach below us. We are I headed, know. I think, to that waterfall. There should be the upper emerald pool up there. Do you remember what I told I told you there was a name for that. Yes? Do you remember what it is? Yeah, the horse's ass. <laughs> the horse's ass. <laughs> Close horse tail waterfall. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know I was going to be rock climbing today. <laughs> ah, okay, I think I'm falling. I'm dead. <laughs> Just kidding. Did that look real? I think so. You guys tell us. Did that look real? <laughs> Did I fake you out? <laughs> We made it to the upper pool. Check this out. It definitely puts the lower pool to shame. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> worth the hike up here. I mean, look at that waterfall. I guess maybe it's emerald over there, but over here it's kind of like rust water. Yeah, it's a lot of weird colors going on this water, but it's very neat. And it's got like sandy beach, you know? This It's a wild mixture of all sorts of terrain. You got rocks, you got sands, you got evergreens, you got red cliffs, you got white cliffs. You, you even got... have adorable squirrels that are not afraid of people at all. Not at all. And if you're lucky, they'll pose for you. <laughs> We were just driving around and we stumbled onto this awesome little secret spot. It's this canyon with this water flowing through it and it's just like carved out its way and it's made like a little narrow canyon thing. We might have to pinpoint this one because I feel like you can walk all the way through this and there's nobody here, you know? It's a little treacherous though and the water is very, very cold. Allison's having a hard time getting out of here. Be careful. <laughs> it's very I, slick and steep. The sand and mud do not combine. A lovely couple just came through. They've been off canyoneering in there. Man, they have the gear and we don't. But <laughs> they just informed us that this is a historic amount of water down here. Apparently they got more snowpack this year than ever before. And we are now reaping the benefits of that by all the melted snow coming down here. Yeah, so did she say that there's usually not this much water in this canyon? Yeah, I don't. I wonder if it's just a trickle usually. Did I don't you, know. Did you hear her say that there's also like people swimming back there? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, there's really? a bunch of pools like way back. Uh, so they're all just like swimming, but they said it's freezing cold. So sadly, we don't really have the gear, but this is the spot to come if you want to get a little bit more rugged and into the canyons and do some swimming. So to access that canyon, this is the little turnout that we'll pinpoint. And right over there is where you head down, and then you can spelunk to your uh, heart's desire. <laughs> I don't know if that's really spelunking, though, is it? No, that's cave exploring, yeah. I think. That's similar. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> do whatever you want to do in there. Why not spelunk? <laughs> Y'all, the formation of Zion is pretty dang incredible. The canyon was carved over millions of years by the Virgin River and is approximately 2,000 feet deep. There are tons of hiking trails along its floor. One of the best known ones is Angel's Landing, which is considered one of the most terrifying hikes in the country because you have to hold onto these rope chains as you walk along with a sheer drop off to the side. And then of course there's the Narrows, which takes you through these deep winding canyons. Sadly, right now it is too full with water, so we can't go through there. And unfortunately, now you actually have to have a permit to go through Angel's Landing. So apply for that well in advance if you want to take that on. We even had to get a filming permit to even film within the park. Unfortunately, we're not even allowed to film though. So you'll just have to come and see them for yourself. The whole Zion area has a really freaking cool vibe, y'all. We've actually been staying in this town called uh, Springdale, Springdale, Utah. I think it's basically the jumping off point for the southern tip of Zion National Park if you were to come here. But check out these views. This is at the base of our RV park. So it's basically like you're already in the park. It's called a Zion Canyon RV Park. This honestly might be one of our favorite places we've ever stayed. I mean, the sites are kind of close to each other, but everyone's been really chill and really quiet. And I mean, like, 
we've just had our windows open this entire time yeah. because you get 360 views of just epic peaks. Oh. Yeah, this is what you wake up to. Yeah. It's in mid-April or late April right now, and it's been nice and breezy and cool. We've had our windows open, no AC. I'm so sad that we didn't book more time here. I don't know yeah. why we did that. Oh, it's never enough time. You just never know that it's, something's going to be this cool, but we're going to probably go ahead and say it. This is our favorite national park we've been to, and we've been to a handful, so yeah. it's okay. pretty hard to beat this. Grand Canyon is freaking amazing and epic, but I feel like this is easier you, to get into and like get involved with it yeah, and see it. It's a bit more and, dynamic, yeah, you know? Yeah, and you can understand it. I feel like the Grand Canyon, your brain just kind of explodes, but here it's like you can really take it all in. It's amazing. Well, y'all, we're back in the RV for the night. We actually went and bought this huge pie right here. So we mentioned at the beginning of this video that Utah is known for pies. We had grand plans to try this on camera and show you guys all about it. And then this happened. After that walk earlier, like we were outside filming and then it hit me like a ton of bricks and I just got so sick. I threw up like three times now. I've got the chills. It's been pretty, pretty sad. Poor kiddo. He's just been laying here and shivering and like groaning and yeah. moaning. I'm and... just so glad I didn't try that pie earlier because what I threw up was bad enough. Sorry, it's TMI, you guys. I know there, there's more that goes along with it too, but I'll spare you. I haven't felt this sick I, since I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Me and Allison ate all the same things. I was perfectly fine on the hike earlier today. So this is what our night will look like now. Yeah, I've been laying here like this for hours and then getting up once an hour <laughs> and running to the bathroom. Uh, I got my little bucket over here so. <laughs> a little makeshift bucket. It's it's come in handy. Why the heck am I sick and nobody else is? My tummy is T-U-F-F. -F. Mine is not. Mine is W-E-A-K. I guess. Good night babe. We'll see you in the morning. Okay. See y'all. How you feeling babe? A little better. <laughs> I think the worst of it's over, but man, that was a rough night. Top rough nights that I've ever had, I think. <laughs> you made a lot of noises in your sleep, like a lot of whimpering. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was basically like in a fever all night, it felt like. Like I was having like a crazy fever dream or something. I was so sweaty and then I was freezing over and over. I feel it a little bit better. I think I'm gonna be more like a human today. <laughs> But we are actually heading further west today. We are gonna do another off-grid stay. But that means we wanted to make sure everything is topped up for a night in the desert. So we have plenty of battery, that's good. So we'll go ahead and turn off the inverter. And then we're gonna flip on our solar to keep everything topped up. And of course, we need to make sure we've got plenty of water. We're thinking we're gonna fill about 50% so it's not too heavy, but- yeah, Might as well not carry the extra weight if we don't need it, right? Exactly, I don't think we'll be showering anything. We got plenty of like fresh drinking water. So this is really for just like washing up. We ended up getting a, in a little bit of a pickle. The RV got a little stuck and we couldn't uh, turn it around because you can't turn around while Ruby is attached. So we had to disconnect Ruby and we're all three driving separately. I'm in the back, that's Allison up there, and then Trevor and Anna are in front of her, trying to figure out where the heck we're going. The plus side though, the scenery is pretty epic. And I think that's Lake Mead over there. We thought we put Ruby and Clementine through the ringer when we went out into Mills Canyon. This is way more intense. The potholes are bigger. There's a bunch of sand and dust, so it's almost like driving in snow sometimes. And I'm so scared that Clementine's just gonna get stuck in one of these dips and she's just gonna spin out. We have officially made it to our off-grid spot. I don't know if we'll get out of here, but we made it here. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the most rough terrain we've ever taken Clementine or Ruby on, I think. But we're in an amazing spot. We're kind of perched up on this hill and there's just like desert land all over the place. And then off in the distance is Lake Mead. We were gonna pull right on up to it, but we weren't confident enough to drive some of the roads to get down there. So, no, But little Ruby's probably gonna make it. Yeah. So Eric will take us down there in a bit. Um, and also I am starting to feel better, all right? I've had my moments, ups and downs, little queasiness here and there, but in 
in general, I'm getting over it, all right? Which is great because man, that was rough. One of the more rough sicknesses that, that I think I've ever had. <laughs> but we did want to give one last shout out and a thank you to Headspace for sponsoring today's video. Again, you can check out their app by clicking the link in the description below and we highly recommend it. Oh, it's going to come in so handy tonight after this crazy day. Yeah, go up on the roof, chill, let the sun go down. Get zen with it. Oh yeah. But yeah, after this, we're going to be heading further west. So you just, guys will just have to stick around and see what comes next. Ooh, exciting. All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.